Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. The Bengals have it at the 44. Will run it. Here's the handoff. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. One last play before the quarter ends. Looking to the right side and throwing. Good coverage by Trufant that time as the pass goes incomplete. The offense needs nine here on third down after that incompletion. Third and nine is the call. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. And it's a fake. They're running a fake. He stacked up at that point. Falcons getting set now for the next series. The Falcons snap it at the 41. Jackson's going to get it from the eye. Paul's there to make the tackle. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Scrambling now. It's wide open. That's a gain of 10. Oh, the coach is going, hey, nice job, son, nice job. Anytime the quarterback takes off on a pass play and picks up a first down, it makes the coaches feel really good. And now he'll take off. Gets it out for the completion. Jones taken down. It's always nice when there's trouble in the pocket that the quarterback's able to run and get outside that pocket and make throws on the run. Nice job that time completing the pass. Back to the air here on first down. Throws to the right. And that's Ioloka who almost had the interception. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. The Falcons take it from the 38. Keeps it here. Breaks the tackle. Now on the move. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Falcons take it from the 38. Play action. Running away from the pressure. Room to work. Nice tackle. You knew this was going to happen, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout, and they fail to overturn the call on the field. You know what you do in situations like this? You fire the guy upstairs who told him, throw the flag, coach. Well, what do you got to say now? It was a terrible call, terrible decision, and you lose a timeout. Ryan's going to take off with it. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot, and the throw goes incomplete. Dropping back three. Jones is going to pull in the bullet pass. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. 
Has it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score, and that's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. Count it. Lined up now in kickoff formation. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Bengals come onto the field for their next series. First and ten. The defense gets a sack. Ah, uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. The Bengals have to be hoping this doesn't turn out like last week's game. Tough luck losers a week ago and trailing in another tight one right now, Phil. We're going to find out if they learned anything from last week's tight loss. And Jim, when you get in situations like this, it's about making that one play that gives your team a good chance to win. Third and 13. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. All set to punt here. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Charles is the one who brings him to the ground. The Falcons are getting set for their next possession. Split backfield here. Now first and ten. And now Ryan's going to take off. Almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pass. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second down and ten. Throws the pass out to White. White takes the hit and brought down. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. The pass picks up some solid yards. Now it's third and short. Every offense is better in third and short than third long, of course. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Ryan from the gun. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. This is called managing the football game as a head coach. What are you doing here? you got a lead. It's close. It's fourth down. It's short yardage. You're near midfield. Don't do it. Punt the football away. And if the other team's going to go ahead, make them drive the length of the field. Bosher is back now. He'll be punting it away. And a flag comes out. Still fourth game. Matt Bosher ready to punt. Better be careful here. Terrible starting field position here for the offense. It's Bernard in the backfield. First and ten. Gets the handle here. Soliai 
is there to make the tackle. The Falcons signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. Andy Dalton will be under center. Second and ten. Will go ground, and that's Luminora in on the stop. That does it here for the first half. Bengals trailing this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Bengals had a great passing game going last week, and it's been more of the same today. The Falcons are finding out firsthand they'll have to deal with this passing attack if they want to win. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Now, early in the first quarter, middle of the field, the pass will be caught, and that connection will lead to a gain of 29 yards. First and 10, White's got the catch here, and he'll end up at their own 40-yard line before being tackled. Falcons would later throw a pick on the drive. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Bengals ready to take over the football. It's Bernard in the backfield. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Dalton sends it to Green, and he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. The Bengals, good job that time moving to change, picking up that first down. And, Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. First down at the 35. He'll pick up seven this time. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game that can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. Wow, well, looks like the defense encroached. Encroachment, defense. Automatic first down. First down here. Wide receivers are bunched up. Catch made. They bring him to the turf. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so. That's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Second down, three for the first. Set up screen to Bernard. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating to this the NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense, they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. Hester's got it on the return. Porter's in on the tackle. Falcons break huddle and start their drive this time from the 29. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down at the 29. Ball's there that time for the tackle. Jones is one of the best route runners in the NFL, and he showed it that time on the quick slant. The football is right on target. Nice, solid game. 
just short of the first down. Second down and one has his target. And it's Ray Malaluga who makes the hit. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looking long to Julio Jones, and Hall nearly had the beat on that one. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Ryan takes it from the gun. Gonna try and scramble now. He's looking to the right here on this throw, and they tackle him there at the 34. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game. Just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. First down and 10. Hester's got it on a pass that had some heat. And it's Reggie Nelson in on that last play. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First down at the 15. He has the grab. Denard's there to take him down. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This should be the last play of the quarter. First and goal to go from the two. Sticks to his hands. Going to lose yards here. And here we have second down. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. The final quarter begins with this snap. And he's forced to the ground. the defense on that play they were not full they see the pass coming they get the penetration they get to the quarterback quick and that's a big sack down near the goal line third and forever play fake Lions on the move there's a flag out and a near pickoff that time by Elson There's a call we don't see all that often. An illegal forward pass. Yeah, that's right. The quarterback that time was past the line of scrimmage. Uh, just lost. He lost his judgment where he was at on the football field. I can understand why. Trying to avoid so many hits. Didn't realize he crossed the line of scrimmage. The kick is good. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong, but good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. Catches it at the six and begins the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. They come to the line, and it's first down. Dalton set, empty backfield. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. It's Bernard in the backfield. to the ground. 
There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Third and long. And they sack the quarterback, and that's a quick series, a three and out. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Any time on third down, they make the play. Uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. Reaches out and grabs it. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Looking ahead, the Bengals will be playing at home next week, while the Falcons will also be playing at home next week. Real good field position here to start this series. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. He'll keep it on the play fake. And he takes off. A takeaway in on the stop. Sometimes as a quarterback, you just misjudge the talent on the other side. And what a play by the linebacker picking off the pass. What a pair of hands also. First and ten. Dalton connecting with Gresham. Gresham's tackled down at the 24. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. The Bengals have it at the 24. Jones got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Jones taken down. Well, you're down a couple of scores in the second half. You're just looking for some positives and trying to get some momentum on your side. So that first down by the offense, maybe that'll give them some confidence, and we'll see where they can go with it from here. Andy Dalton able to find Jermaine Gresham. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. They come out in the dime package. Dalton's going to throw once again on this down. Eyeing that left side. That's a gain of seven. Second down. Late in the fourth quarter. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. And he's taken down the Bengals with a little uncertainty. So they take a timeout here before third down. Third down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Sometimes on the defensive side, hurrying the quarterback is just as good as sacking him. Because when you hurry him, he doesn't have time to think. He's probably not going to be as accurate. And they get the incompletion. Good job by the defense. conversion but you might as well look at it like a turnover it's going back the other way that's another sack by the defense I'll tell you what quarterback holds the football too long but I blame the offensive coordinator call some shorter passes so he can get rid of the football Jackson's gonna take the handoff now the Bengals one timeout remaining second down following the run Gives it to Steven Jackson. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. The defense knocks the clock. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the ground. Taken down at the 33. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Matt Ryan under center. Another handoff right back to him. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Jackson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. That's White with the catch from Ryan. White takes the hit and brought down. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. 
something going back up top. Throw to the left. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Yeah, that was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and goal from the 10. Keeps it here. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with the pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. The Falcons use another timeout here, and they have one left. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and goal from the 10. Incomplete, Iloka was in the vicinity. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position, nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. When you come out there on the field, as a defense, the offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. got a chance to return this one and he's going to be brought down right around the 33 yard line now you start to get a little momentum going you got the win last week and you pick up another victory here today it's just awesome isn't it uh, you know athletes are incredible give them a little positive reinforcement like winning the football game they believe in what they can do uh, the coaches believe in them so they actually give them more opportunities they trust them more and that's how you get a winning streak going. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.